to Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you on this beautiful Monday morning. Well, semi-beautiful. It's a little cloudy out. It is the 1st of February, 2016, and I am doing another vlog video for today. I have to run a few errands. Uh, nothing super spectacular, but there are a few uh, things going on that I wanted to let you guys know about. Um, first and foremost, I am working on a, another laptop for a customer. Um, uh, it's an older Dell. It's probably from about 2010-ish, and uh, it's totally riddled with viruses. So I need to clean the viruses out, do a data backup, and then basically reinstall the operating system, which not too big of a deal. It shouldn't take more than maybe a day or so. Um, the only bad thing is, the person that dropped it off didn't drop off the AC adapter with it, so I need to go rooting through my big closet and try to find something that will work. It takes one of those really those really big Dell adapters that have the uh, nice big round uh, plug on it, so I think I still have one of those lying around, but I'll just have to see if I can find it. Um, I do want to hit up Dollar Tree because we are totally out of laundry detergent. This past weekend we were um, putting away most of our uh, summer clothes. I know, right? It was basically the first time we've been able to get to it. And when that happens, mom does load after load after load of laundry. So I had bought about three or four big jugs from Dollar Tree, those um, LA's Totally Awesome laundry detergents. And we only have about a half of one left, so that's going to have to be on the agenda. I do want to hit up the thrift store today. Um, I haven't been there for about a week or so because I've been so busy. Um, they may have put some uh, computers out. I'm not sure, but uh, we're going to find out together. First, let me show you a couple things that are going in my room, on in my room right now. So be back in just a minute. All right, so this is the laptop. Uh, it's a Dell. And I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys. Uh, you can see it's an Inspiron. I'm not exactly sure of the model number. I think it's like a 1545. It's got an Intel Pentium dual core inside, and it's running Windows Vista. It does have a webcam up there, so at least it was a, uh, a at least a mid-range model. It wasn't really the budget model, I guess, when it was new. Another way you can tell that is it does have the extended life battery. And let's see if I can get a model on here. It is, yep, I was right, it's Inspiron 1545. Like I said, this thing is totally riddled with viruses, so I'm going to have to uh, try to get this cleaned out, hopefully done within the next couple of days, and uh, I'll probably do an update video on this and show you how everything went. I mean, it's in decent shape otherwise. Um, it's definitely had some use. I can see a little, a uh, few shiny spots on the space bar there. Um, nothing too severe on the enter key, so, I mean, it's been used, but definitely not abused. And it does come on, but I don't want to actually boot it up because I don't want the viruses to get any worse than they already are, because I need to try to do a data backup on this before I do anything else. Another thing I want to show you guys is I've been purchasing some more cassette tapes on eBay. Now, this was not one of my better purchases. When I was young, we had a store near us called James Way, and James Way sold, I don't know if it was exclusively, but they did sell the brand Gemini, and I remember buying these tapes when I was young, and you know, I was young, what did I know? I used to think they sounded fantastic. They were some of the best tapes I ever had, um, so I, when I was searching eBay the other day, I decided to just type in Gemini and see what I could find. Well, I came across a five pack of new old stock of these Gemini concert series tapes. Um, they are type two tapes. You can see the specs on here. Uh, type two high position. Um, the equalization is 70 on these. And they are a hundred minute tapes. So that's 50 minutes per side. And it says extra length for in uninterrupted CD recording, superior tape coding for quality CD reproduction. Uh, low noise distortion free sound quality that's a lie that is a total lie specially engineered precision molded cassette that's another lie right there send a dynamic range for crisp clear reproduction now I've used a total of three of these so far the first one went without a hitch it, it sounds decent um, it's not the best sounding tape I've ever seen but it sounds decent the second tape was a total disaster 
Um, I was recording it with my JVC deck here, and right as it got to the end, towards the end, I started hearing uh, this incredibly high-pitched squeaking sound. And my mom was in here too. She was watch she and I were watching uh, Night Court on uh, Netflix, and all of a sudden I, I heard that sound. I came right over here, and sure enough, the tape was squeaking. It was straining this deck, and when I took it out. I went and tried to wind it because I noticed that the tape was just about to end, but it actually hadn't yet. There was maybe, I don't know, uh, a centimeter or two left of tape on this spool. So I went to twist it with my finger, and it was tight as could be. What had actually happened is the rollers were defective, and I think that was probably there from the factory because, like I said, the other ones have been fine, but that came very close to spinning a belt on that deck. So needless to say, I am not very happy with these cassettes. Um, what I might do is if I find another bad one, I might save it for the shell because as you can see, these are these do have the screws in them. So if I have another pre-recorded tape that goes bad, I can actually uh, swap, swap the tape out for this shell and I can actually change the rollers. I could take the rollers from the other cassette and put them in here. So I might just go ahead and save them for that purpose. I'm going to try the other two at least, but again, if I find one that, um, that does the same thing where the rollers are going bad, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to buy these tapes again. You know, things that sound good to you is, when you're kids don't necessarily mean they are good. When you're a kid, you don't really know very much. All right, so I've had some requests to do more videos about my cats. Seems like all you guys really like to see Simon and LT. Well, I'm not going to do a specific video about them today, but I will show you guys where they are. Simon is in his usual spot over here totally asleep until I go near him. I'm going to say hi to everybody, Simon. Yeah, he's just chilling. Like I said, he's an old, old, lazy boy. Um, yesterday, he was extremely affectionate. I actually uh, came in here when my mom was getting ready for work, and he didn't want me to leave him alone. He just wanted lots of attention, but like I said, he he's finicky. Sometimes he'll want me to pet him, other times I'll be doing this, and you can kind of see he's not totally amused right now. Well, you're kind of happy. We'll see. We'll let you go back to sleep. Well, I am going to head out. Uh, like I said, i got to go to the thrift store and run a few errands, maybe stop by uh, Harris Teeter. I want to maybe pick up some um, pitted prunes for a uh, project I'm thinking about doing later on. I'm not sure if I'm going to film that or not. But uh, we'll see what the rest of the day brings. Talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna head out right now. It is actually really nice out. You guys hear the train in the background? Yeah, they're always uh, they're always coming around this time. Looks like they have more uh, routes this year too. They actually go to the uh, terminal, which is close to my house, the shipping terminal. So uh, they've kind of increased it over the years. Now, instead of coming once or twice a day, usually come about four or five times. Now, for those of you guys that follow me on Facebook, you guys have probably seen this. We uh, actually replaced our living room chairs, and these are the old ones, which I'm surprised nobody's taken yet. A couple of you guys commented that uh, you thought they were too good to be out here. Well, take a closer look, guys. You can see the cat went to town on the front of this. This is all dirt here. So, yeah, these things are ready for the trash heap. Not to mention the fact the bottom is kind of broken out of that. These were really cheap when we got them. They were from the North Carolina company, and um, they were decent chairs. But, I mean, they're like six, seven years old now, and uh, they were pretty much done. Well, let's head out. I am going to, might as well do a start on the car. It's not a cold start or an old start, but, again, a lot of you guys seem to like it. So, uh, we'll see if she starts this morning. Oh, man, hardly a cloud in the sky. Just a few high, thin ones today. All right. Let's see what happens. No problem. Of course, sometimes I've noticed in the mornings if the uh, 
the computer isn't in, the, it doesn't set the timing just right, it takes a little bit longer to start. In other words, I have to do some more cranking. But other than that, she's running perfectly. All right. Car is nice and warmed up, so we're gonna head out right now. A um, few things I wanted to talk about. Uh, my Dell XPS 8700. I'm still debating on which SSD to go with. Um, I've pretty much moved all the files, my video files and my music files, everything I need to over to the five terabyte external MyBook hard drive and the two terabyte uh, internal um, drive. Basically, I wanted to free up as much space as I could on the main one terabyte drive because I wanted to gauge how much space I would need to have for an SSD. Um, right now, it's looking like I can go with the uh, Samsung Evo 850, which is a 250 gigabyte um, SSD drive and that should be just fine because as it sits right now since I've moved all the files over I'm only using maybe 130 140 gigabytes of space which should be perfectly fine for the SSD um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to pick it up uh, Best Buy is gonna be running a sale next week from what I heard it's gonna be uh, about ten dollars off and then I have a $10 uh, reward zone certificate. So if I can wait till uh, next week, then I'm only gonna wind up paying about $70 for it, which is what I really wanted to pay in the first place. I mean, that's an excellent deal for an SSD. And remember, this is a um, micro SSD. So this is the one that's actually going to fit right on my motherboard. Um, I could go with just the standard uh, SSD drive, but the problem is I don't wanna use up uh, my very last uh, hard drive bay and of course because this is a uh, a desktop I would also have to get an adapter because all the SSDs that they sell are laptop style or 2.5 inch uh, drive so it's just gonna be a lot easier to do it this way pretty much the only concern that I have is is it going to clear the video card because as most of you guys know by now I've installed that um, R7 uh, 260 uh, video card 263 360 video card and um, it protrudes uh, deep into the case I mean it is just a long video card it's got dual fans on it a, a nice big heat sink and there's maybe about a half of a half inch of clearance between the video card and that slot and I just need to make sure that the um, M SATA SSD will actually work. And for those of you that are watching this video, if you know the answer to that, please leave it in the comment because I I don't want to buy it and then find out that I can't use it because I don't have enough clearance between that and the card. So if any of you guys have run into this situation uh, previously, um, just leave a comment and let me know how it turned out. I'm really hoping I don't have to go with a standard SSD because that's just going to complicate things because I, I, the only drive bay I have left in there is really, it's not even really made for a hard drive, it's made for a, a secondary memory card reader, um, but it's a five, like a five and a quarter inch size, or I'm sorry, 3.5 inch size, so we'll have to see what happens. I, I just, uh, I think it'll be a lot easier if I can get the uh, M SATA SSD to fit in there. Wow, I'm just looking out here. I cannot believe how nice this day. 53 degrees. It's supposed to get into the mid 60s today. Um, it's going to be warm for the next few days, and then it's going to dip back down into the 40s. And that, my friends, is when we are going to do another pit fire, because that is something I've wanted to do for a long time. But you know, the weather just hasn't warranted it. Um, you know, it's either been too warm, like ridiculously warm, like in the 60s and 70s, or it's been way too cold and snowing or raining. We just haven't had enough of these nice, cold, dry evenings. And I tell you, I really miss it because the I, I, I didn't film it a lot, but the year before, we must have had at least four or five of them. And it's so much fun. We invite all of our neighbor friends and neighbors over. Sometimes we'll roast marshmallows. I'll usually put uh, my Coleman land turn out there and light that up yeah it's just it, it's a fun time for all so it kind of just it, it makes me a little sad that uh, you know the winter's going so quickly we're here at February right now I have maybe another two months before you know the warm weather sets in we're not gonna be able to do it at all anymore
But of course, the plus side on that, it'll be grilling season again, so we can uh, maybe start with some more cooking videos. And I have some really good ideas coming for the channel, uh, especially when it pertains to uh, cooking videos. Well, I am here at the thrift store, or thereabouts, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video for now and uh, pick it up a little bit later. All right, so I did wind up picking up something at the thrift store. Well, nothing super special, but uh, mom just moved into an office and she said that she needs a better stereo, so I got her this. This is an Optimus, so made by Radio Shack. Three CD changer with a dual cassette. And I picked this up for $4.98 reason is, as of right now, the CD player does not work, but I believe it's just because the laser is dirty, so I'm going to go ahead and work on that in a few minutes and uh, hopefully get that working again, but the cassettes work, the radio works, and uh, yeah, I think mom will really enjoy this. I didn't even look back here to see the year. That is an older one. Look at that. Manufactured July 1995. The Optimus System 734. You guys can pause the video if you want to read any of the uh, specs on that, but down here we have the 75 ohm FM antenna leads, the AM antenna leads, and auxiliary in, so theoretically you could hook up an MP3 player or an iPod, iPad, anything to this with the right connector. That would be the RCA to uh, headphone jack connector. And of course your uh, uh, two speaker right and left channel. And this one has a 6 ohm impedance, so I should be fine with the speakers I'm going to use for this. And the speakers I have are 4 and 6 ohm compliant, so uh, yeah, it should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit, and uh, going to go ahead and try to get the uh, CD player working. Hopefully it does. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so let's see, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon, and... Uh, um, in the background, I'm watching uh, Mrs. Cotton Candy's Darling Life. She does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls and reviews from products from Dollar Tree. So if you ever get a chance, uh, watch her channel. It's Mrs. Cotton Candy's Darling Life. We're going to end the vlog here for today. Hope you guys enjoy these. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.